Welcome to OCP TV, the newsroom for the Open Compute Project Foundation. I'm Laura Noland at the 2020 OCP Virtual Summit. Joining me today is Michael Boishus, Marketing Manager at Asperitas, and Eduardo de Azevedo, Product Application Specialist for Shell. Welcome to both of you to OCP TV. Yeah, thanks, Laura. Yeah, sure. I understand that you are announcing several products, one of them being the Shell Immersion Cooling Fluid. Can you both tell us a little bit more about the relationship and, and how this product came to be? Yeah, sure. So a little background on the collaboration. Uh, we have been working with Shell products uh, since our R&D phase, uh, but more closely since 2018 when we won the New Energy Challenge, which is a competition Shell is uh, co-organizing annually. Um, since then, we work together as on a strategic level um, for partners, basically on the development of tailored immersion cooling fluid uh, for data centers, of course. Uh, all based on our insights we have developed and built up uh, throughout the years since our R&D days and first pilots and, uh, and the current uh, project deployments. Uh, but maybe Shell can uh, um, explain a little bit on the background on the development itself. Yes, Michael, sure. Um, we, we used expertise uh, acquired along the latest decades in, in formulating and producing um, the highest top tier lubricants, dielectric and thermal uh, fluids to the majority of the industry sectors like automotive and, and power industry. Our global commercial technology and project technology uh, teams work together uh, around the world uh, exchanging expertise, uh, uh, know-how among our team and our, and our technology centers in, in Amsterdam, in Hamburg, in Houston, in Shanghai, and in Bangalore uh, with the highest customers interested. Uh, we use the in-deep expertise, uh, the global network, and our long-lasting experience uh, to develop the, the fluid for the immersion cooling application. So what would you say are the unique aspects of this immersion cooling fluid? Well, uh, our fluid was uh, developed um, and co-engineered with, with uh, Aspiritas, which is our strategic partner, right? Uh, it's also optimized for Aspiritas natural uh, convection-driven immersion cooling solutions, uh, but can also uh, be used in pump or faucet uh, circulation systems, okay? Um, and shell immersion cooling fluid is a synthetic a single phase fluid made from natural gas using shell GTL, which means a shell a gas to liquid uh, technology. Uh, GTL uh, fluids have a water white color um, and offer a uniform chemical structure, a high flash point and a low volatility and an outstanding uh, light and thermal stability, Laura. Uh, the products are colorless and, and contain virtually no sulfur, nitrogen, or aromatics uh, that are found uh, in conventional uh, crude oil-based products. So what were the aspects that Asperitas and the users of this technology, what were they looking for in terms of the fluid? Um, yeah, well, it, it would be good then to, to go back a little bit on uh, the development perspective we have regarding immersion cooling. So when we started out, we started to develop an immersion cooling technology, which we like to call immersed computing, uh, for the highest standard of data centers um, anywhere, um, what we call enterprise level uh, data centers. Um, and they look, of course, for certain technical um, aspects and, uh, and uh, behavior of the fluid, like uh, regarding performance, uh, minimal evaporation, uh, optimal flow, um, but as well one other aspect which is quite important for us and that's predictability. So when we develop a technology, uh, we want it to run for a long period of time and we want it to be uh, safe and reliable for um, on a predictable level, right? So when we deploy data centers, our customers know exactly how it will behave on the long term. So in terms of fluid, this was also one of the main points we wanted to achieve. Um, but as well beyond the technical aspects, um, there's of course safety and reliability um, and uh, ensuring basically uh, the technology, the, the fluid itself has been designed for this purpose and not uh, just adapted for it. Um, so that's what we are looking for and more generic in terms of partnerships. Uh, our mission is to enable high performance and sustainable data anywhere. So when we are uh, yeah, connecting with a strategic partner like Shell, this is, yeah, it should all add value to this mission we have, right? 
in our FMA from our side as well. Uh, and, and, and it was really interesting because Aspiritas helped us to understand their uh, customer requirements and all the details specifically for the immersion computing application during the development of the fluid. Uh, and the materials and the conditions and the locations where the, the, the modules will be installed or deployed, right? And associated with the high purity of this GTL uh, medicinal base oil, um, we specifically selected the additives uh, to ensure even higher thermal and oxidation stability during the, uh, the operation, okay? And, and, and for us at Shell, you know, the safety of the employees, customer, and society is the utmost uh, priority. And as a GTL synthetic base oil meets the um, US and the European pharmacopoeia purity requirements, uh, and is also food grade uh, certified, the safety of the people handling the, the fluid is improved, right? So, and, and the fluid also extremely lower volatility and non evaporation characteristics contributes uh, uh, not only with a safer environment, but also with uh, sustainability and, uh, and not depleting the ozone layer. Uh, in easy words, I would say that due to the purity of the GTL um, uh, and technology, there is ne nearly nothing in the oil uh, which can react with the components. Wow. One more point I would like to, sorry, one more item that I would like to point out is actually the capability of Shell uh, to do this on a global level, of course, right? So uh, in terms of the fluid partnership, uh, Shell has control over its own supply chain uh, from sourcing materials, of course, and uh, in the manufacturing uh, of this fluid, but as well um, in terms of our customer success and monitoring uh, after deployments, right, to, to ensure this long-term success. I'd like to expand upon that just a little bit, Michael. So, you know, you, you touched on Shell and the global footprint that Shell has. So what role then can Shell play, if you can go into a little bit more detail, what role will Shell play in advancing the solution even further? Yeah, and Nora, and then we, we, we work in collaboration with our customers to overcome their challenge, right? Uh, and uh, take advantage of our fluid analytical capabilities and, and, and compatibility tests, for example, we, we, we will uh, move forward with this. Uh, and we've, uh, we have, uh, um, as we have uh, technology centers uh, uh, globally, uh, we can provide uh, um, support through our global network and offer solutions such as uh, our global loop analyst platform, which gives the customer information about the fluid and equipment condition through the, the fluid analysis. Um, we have a long uh, heritage in fluid monitoring through our loop analyst uh, program and therefore a, a broad uh, understanding on fluid behavior in diverse uh, applications. It's, it seems that Asperitas is having a preference, so to speak, for working with partners on the development of these immersion related components. Why is that? Yeah, you're right, Lord. This is uh, basically our approach. So we strongly believe that um, we have an expertise if it comes to developing immersion cooling uh, technologies and solutions. Um, but to use basically the optimal uh, potential of the technology, we like to optimize different components inside our solution. So, uh, for example, uh, the IT hardware, the servers and the compute elements. Uh, we have close relationships with OEMs to develop optimized uh, solutions for it. Um, and then in this case as well, the fluid is so all beyond what's going inside the technology, but for example, uh, the data center from a design perspective. So we strongly believe in those partnerships where, uh, where every partner has its own expertise to add value to the overall picture. Um, and yeah, so I think this, uh, this fits in very strongly in our approach. Um, and you will see that as well during the summit, uh, you, we will highlight several partnerships uh, as well beyond the one with Shell, uh, as I pointed out, with several OEMs uh, where we're very happy we're working together with. We can find you during the summit for sure, during the OCP virtual summit, but where can our viewers go in the meantime to learn more? Well, at the meantime, um, uh, waiting for the summit, um, definitely to our website, uh, spiritus.com. Um, there you'll find as well the, the link to Shell's product page to, uh, to the immersion cooling fluid. Um, and you have all the means there to reach out to uh, either one of us. All right. Sounds like a plan. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a pleasure talking to both you, Michael and Eduardo. Thanks again. Thank you, Laura. Thanks, Laura. Bye-bye. Thank you.
Thank you, viewers, for tuning in to OCP TV. Enjoy the virtual show.